Next is the Jugs 5 and 5 for base running at first base. The first is teaching our guys to take a primary lead. What's enough? What's, you know, we don't want to, it's Goldilocks. We don't want to be too much. We don't want to be not enough. We want to be just right. Here's an easy way to teach your kids. But the key is this, that when the pitcher comes set and I start to take my lead, I'll step with my right foot. As soon as my right foot comes down, my eyes are locked on the, from the top of the knee to the top of the bud of the pitcher. And if he pivots, I'm back. But as soon as I step off the bag, my eyes are locked onto the pitcher and they don't go off him. So I go right, I go left, and then I square. And if at any time he makes a move, I go back. So I go right, left, square, replace, replace. And from this position, once we figure it out, what we want to be able to know is that if I roll my nose over this toe and I take one step and lay out, I'm going to be hitting the front of the base. If my elbow is over the base, I got to get a little more with my steps. If I'm five inches short, I'd suggest you shorten your leads. Our next basic is this. I've taken my primary lead that now I'm watching the pitcher and as he comes, as he picks his foot up to commit himself to home, I'm going to take a secondary lead. And that is either going to be two good sized steps or three small slide steps. And I want to make sure that this is timed so that as the ball enters the hitting area, my right foot is landing. So that if I'm right here and a ball is hit on the ground, it's going to look like I never stop moving and I'm just going to cross over and go. This is the art of base running, getting our foot timing down on a secondary lead so we are breaking at exactly the fastest moment possible. Here's another basic that's a really good thing to teach kids. That as I am taking my secondary lead, before I get my head on the hitting zone to see the ball off the bat, I'm noticing what pitch it is. Because lots of times, as soon as I see it's a breaking ball, I can get myself ready to steal second base on a dirt ball. It is an art. So if I'm taking my secondary lead, as soon as I read a curve ball is going to bounce, I break before it bounces and I steal second base without a sign. Our next runner on first basic is how do you read a pitcher to determine if he's throwing the ball home or he's making a move? Here's the best, best I can offer. If you have your base runner and you have the base running perspective right now through the camera, if you focus on the top of my belt to the middle of my knee, if you focus on this area, what you're going to see is this. On every pitch, there's going to be a sink. On every pick, this is going to pivot. So if you read this, you're back. If you read sink, you're safe to go. There is no way a guy can sink and make a move as a right-hander. So if he sits, you go. If he pivots, you're back. That's the read. The last base running tip at first base is the ability to delay steal second. Anytime you see, I don't care if Adley Rutschman is catching, anytime you see that the middle infield is not one of them breaking to the bag, that they're staying back and being a little bit lazy, I'm going to get to second base before them if I delay steal. So the delay steal is this, I take my primary. As the pitcher bears down, I don't initially break. No one's yelling steal. I'm going to take three slide steps and then cross over and go low. So it's one, two, three, drive my elbow and take off. And the catcher is not ready, so he's catching the ball with non-throwing feet. The middle infield, if they're back, you'll beat it. And what happens a lot of the time, Catcher's real good, he throws the ball into center field, and the guy that fields it's the center fielder. 
because the middle infielders haven't gotten there in time. 